Ooh, okay, hello. We are on Coagulation Station. Really rhymes. Yeah, uh, I've been trying to keep the upload streak. Uh, hopefully you saw the last video. We are doing uh, another game that was pretty crazy. So this one, like most games, I don't know anything about. I'm going in completely blind, but I heard there's stuff about blood in it. <laughs> a lot of blood. So we're just gonna start game. After a long string of poor financial decisions, you receive a telecommunication from the Grand Galactic Bank. They inform you that you have somehow managed to accru accrue 53,000 kilo credits of debt. Oh my god. 53,000 kilo credits. Kilo is at a thousand. So we're in like 550 or 530 million credits what if your debt is not resolved within three months we'll enact standard debt relief protocols knowing the grand galactic bank's debt relief protocols often involve the removal of several vital organs you figure it's best to look for a new stable job to pay off your debt dude that is insane first of all how do you even get that much debt okay you didn't did you go to did you go to college in 2024? <laughs> I mean, what happened in three months? That's that's not enough. The only living planet in the universe, Carrion Prime. Oh God, that's Carrion is not a good name to have. Wow, uh, 98,000 kilo credits per hour. That is like. That's, that's like, that would never happen in today's economy. After a night of searching, you find an opening for a clot management, <laughs> clot management specialist aboard a pumping station on Carrion Prime. The pay is decent. You don't say. The station's decent. And the hours aren't too bad. It definitely beats customer service. <laughs> Puzzlingly, the turnover rate of this position is unusually high. Regardless, you've always wanted to visit Carry On Prime, and now it seems like the perfect opportunity. Maybe you can even try one of their rena renowned clot dogs. Oh, dude, rich blood hot dogs? What do you mean? How bad could it be? Okay, wow. I plugged in my computer and it unlagged. Cool. So where am I? Oh god, there's one of them. Clot dogs. Now an O negative. Oh god. Arterial map. Greater equatorial artery. You are not here. Blank. And you are here. Okay. Viewing intake A. So, I think there's a shotgun. So we're pumping blood from some giant creature, right? The submersible camera network scan consists of a series of cameras strategically positioned in the extraction zone. These cameras provide a real-time visual feed of the product flow and any potential anam anal an oh my god an anomalies. Kid Lord, tongue twister. Use the system to detect blockages ahead of time and seek the appropriate response. Sea diving instructions. Okay. Um. What does that mean? This guide is intended to aid in the operation of product delivery system. The PDS is responsible for the initial extraction of blood hereafter product from the reservoir below. Product extraction is vital in supplying sustenance to the colony. Locate any of the four identical terminals bearing the following pump control or pump symbol. Press the metallic switch to symbol the pumps on or off. Observe the designated flow rate gauge located on the far wall. Optimal performance is outlined by the number of lights illuminated. Please note, failure to meet the designated product quota will result in the mandatory contribution of product by any and all personnel involved. Contributions include, but are not limited to, partial or complete ex <laughs> exsanguination. Good lord. So if we do not, if we do not give them 
the blood they want, we will have to contribute our blood. Due to poor performance resulting from the increasingly frequent early departure of assigned personnel, the manual recall mechanism for the entry-exit elevator has been disabled indefinitely. The elevator will now descend automatically once the product quota has been met. Further inquiries regarding the revised elevator protocol are discouraged. Focus your efforts on maximizing daily product output. The colony appreciates their unwavering dedication to the vital extraction process. Due to recent events, see Incident Report 98S, the Harpoon Cabinet should remain locked unless author authorized by a member of staff with clearance of grade 5 or higher. Thank you. Good lord, what happened? Do you think nobody remembers what you did? Hemorrhage Farms remembers. Try our new blood bites. Good god. Or Clot mitigation procedures. Clot grinder. Often referred by the... I don't know if I can say that. Uh, refers, serves to the dispose of coagulations within the product stream. Uh, operation to begin. Simply drop any disposable matter into the intake. Clot grinder will automatically indicate initiate a brief high torque pulverization cycle. Warning, prolonged exposure to the pulverization cycle can cause migraines, hearing loss, and psychosis. Utilize standard issue ear protection. Please note the clock grinder does not discriminate. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs away from the intake during operation. See Incident Report 98S. Good God. What happened? Okay. Slippery surfaces. Stir into the pipeline intake for a prolonged period of time. Taste test any amount of unrefined product, no matter how good it smells. Okay, uh, that's probably from 98S, huh? <laughs> okay, uh, blockages. Encountering leaks and blockages within product flow is a routine occurrence. Respond promptly and efficiently to, efficiently to blockages using the following procedures for identification and resolution. Monitor the flow rate gauge. Small drop in flow likely indicates a leak. Leaks can be repaired with any standard repair tool. Significant and sustained drop in flow rate is indicative of potential clot blockage. Deactivate pumps and open the corresponding hatch to, cure, to clear blockage. Resume operations as soon as possible. Complete cessation of flow signals the blockage of a pipe intake. A serious issue that requires immediate action. See diving instructions. Normalize a flow rates. Okay. Whoa. Diving. Hello. What do you mean diving instructions? Nobody told me about diving into into that. Okay. I never say anything about this. How to handle SEs. Surge events. Every rig is equipped with sensors to detect. For just blood waves. As these are uncommon catastrophic seismic events that occur without warning. Little is known about what causes SEs. Our current understanding is that they originate from a colossal cardiac organ, or series of cardiac organs deep below the surface of Carrion Prime. Knowing what to do in the event of an upcoming SE is critical to your survival. An alarm will sound when SE is detected, timer will start counting down. Return to the surface once work is complete. Why is it bitten off? Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Somebody chewed up the note. <laughs> their dog ate their their work. Their, their homework. Okay, so we have two clock grinders here. Guys, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Everything that we just learned, I did not take in at all. That went in one ear and out the other ear. <laughs> So, I'm just saying we go into this, you know? Diving. Okay, this might actually be important. They mentioned this a few times. Don the protective Mark II diving suit and enter the nearest diving cage. Control panel lower diving cage. Oh, God, dude, it's happening again. Video yawning. Pipe depth. Uh, lower 
Once there, clear the blockage and return to the surface. Remember, the ascend button is disabled until any of our blockages have been cleared. Please note, when diving, any feelings of claustrophobia, existential dread, or a newfound appreciation for terrestrial life are to be internally suppressed. Let me guess what uh, incident report that was from. So we just have to get this started. Just have to get this a flowing, huh? More stuff down here I didn't even notice. First now, reminded to discard any rumors of existence of hostile life forms present in Reservoir. None of these claims have been substantiated by empirical evidence. They are nothing more than the a result of idle fearmongering similar to Earth cryptids such as Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, or the Koala. <laughs> the Koala? What do you mean? The Koala Bear? Anendium. Personnel remain unconvinced to be made aware that based on data from Earth, they are statistically more, 50 times more likely to die in a clock grinder related accident than a marine fauna they may encounter. Clock grinder, clock grinder usage is still mandatory. Yeah, that can't be good. Well, these will sound when, uh, Oh, God. Pfft, bro. Oh, we have to handle all of these? Oh, God. Dude, where is it? Jesus Christ. Jesus, we have to manage all of these. Oh, God. So our quota is 1,200. Yo. What was what, that? Everything's good, it looks like. Guess I can just go up here and have fun. Filter A, clogged. Yo! Uh. Wait, dude. Is this a clot? Bro. Uh. Okay. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it now. Okay. So we just have to basically keep this all under control. Wow, I have a strong intrusive urge to use this. Jesus, God damn. Okay, wait. I'd even need to go out. I didn't realize that, okay. I just needed to... Okay, so it's only when, when the flow completely stops. When I will... When I have to go down there. Okay. Everything seems to be going great. Where? Alright, so it's a clot? Okay. Sounds good. We just have to get to our quota and we'll be good. Ten more meters.
Good lord. Plots are disgusting, dude, and they all have eyes. Like, they're, they're literally... I mean, we live in, uh, in this universe, they know aliens exist, right? Because that's where they're getting the blood from. That's what these clots obviously are. I'm just wondering. I mean, there has to be something hostile, and they're and they're trying to. They're not. They're lying to us about it. Oh my God! What do you mean? Dude, I don't know. Okay, there we go. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Jesus. Yo! Things scuttled away. Ugh, big jump scare, wow. Wow. Plot dogs. Would you guys eat this? Leave in the comments. I wouldn't. This is disgusting. All the blood leaking. I bet this dog is made of a clot, too. And it's like moldy bread, you see that? This, this, oh my god, it's moldy. That's disgusting. Oh! Dude, something's hitting the station. God, we're a quarter of the way there. Okay. Something in here is hitting us. Ah, dude, we're on like a meat cavern, too. This whole meat thing is gross. Yeah, you know, I haven't checked up here. What's this like? What's that? Yo. Is that just more station or or what? Dude, dude, that that's a thing. <laughs> Guys, we caught that live, dude. We caught that one live. Hang in there. <laughs> Thank you. Leave in the comments below, do you guys think this beats customer service? Oh, whoa. God, dude, so gross. They're, the, the clots, they're much less clots and more like actual just like you know, they're, they're like, like organs, is what they are. Power loss. How do you mean power loss? Yeah, that's what I thought, dude. <laughs> there ain't no power loss. Yeah, I don't, I'm not playing those games. Dude. Man. Wow. Pretty soon here, there's probably gonna be like a full cessation, as they called it. You know, everything's just gonna cease to, to move. Uh, we're gonna have to go see that, I don't know. Alright. I have to get closer. Signal lost. 
What do you mean, signal lost? Vein floor? That is disgusting. Vein floor? Is that what I was seeing? Dude, I think that's what I was seeing on... On the other camera. Yeah, and that too. Oh my god. These are... Veins? Dude, what? I wonder what happens if you get caught in the blood too much. If it's all, uh... Causes, like, psychosis, etc. Or, or whatever. Existential dread. Whole lot of bad stuff. So, so this is some sort of supernatural blood, and it's, uh, the existential dread part has to play a part in it. Like, this, this is like a, maybe it's trying to drive you mad, or maybe it's, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it, it itself is like an existential threat, and you can, like, sense that. Maybe the thing is hungry and we keep milking it, <laughs> so it it wants us back, you know, it wants its food. And who better for food than the people who are draining you of your your liquid, your your stuff, dude? What did they say again? Cessation. Blockage of pipe intake. Dude. Dude. That's all of them. That's literally all of them, dude. We have to get every single one. Oh, God. Dude. You're telling me. We have to... Manage every single one of these pipes? Watch, the clots are... At least one of the clots is gonna be scary. I know how these games go. Yeah, see that one's just gonna be like a normal one. I... Oh god, dude. Another! Uh-uh, uh-uh. Get me out of here. Oh my god, what is that? I don't know if you guys can see that. Dude, my, my screen. Dude, my screen, like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But that was wild. There was like a shadow moving across here. Turn these on again. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why the entire flow just stopped. But whatever. Yeah. Bro. Power loss. Surge event detected. Dude, in three minutes? Every rig... Okay. Good lord. I guess we have to... Dude. Dude, 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 what do I do? What do I do? Inside the diving cages to return to the surface once work is completed. Okay, recall. Dude, where's recall? Call lit. Dude! What do you mean? Dude, we're stuck! Dude, the two and a half minutes. 
Two and a half minutes and we're stuck. Dude, they said a weight rescue. Use the recall elevator button in the command room. Dude! Ah! Ah! That's what- that's what was bitten off! If the elevator isn't functional... Dude, I don't know what to do! Good lord. Dude, I don't know what to do. Dude, there has to be something. There has to be something around here. Dude. Diving suit is gone. I have 40 seconds to this surge event. Dude. Dude, whatever I saw, whatever silhouette that was, this was causing the surge events. I bet, I bet you that's what's causing the surge events. And they are... 80. That's the main floor! I don't remember the pipe being this long. On the main floor. Didn't shoot out and stuff. Dude. After you failed to report in the following day, a search team was dispatched. They discovered what was left of you several hours later. Your remains were then sent to the Grand Galactic Bank's Organ Harvesting Center. At least you don't have to worry about debt when you're dead, right? Ultimately, this was the largest tragedy in a long line of tragedies to occur at this pumping station. Nevertheless, as long as you demand for clot dogs is high, blood must be pumped. Not long after, job listing for a clot management specialist opens once more. Dude. Is that seriously? We were doing all this for clot dogs. For disgusting food made out of blood that doesn't even look that good at least with like fast food you know like fast food at least like tastes good cloth dogs cannot taste good dude they cannot taste good at all when they're in O negative first of all so you're doing different blood types and, and, and second off you're doing uh you're, it's blood I mean that can't be good for you either you know, just, just eating blood. I mean, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Maybe there's some protein effects, but I don't know. Wow, I have no idea what went on. I don't know what that creature was. I don't know how anything we just did connects together. R.I.P. That's Coagulation Station. Uh, please go play it. Good game. I, I definitely want to get some more of the endings, like, off camera. And see what was lurking in here.